Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you an unconventional way to fish. Uh, you will not even be using a fishing rod. Uh, well, just for a second you will be, but you will not actually be catching the fish with a fishing rod. So where you need to head to is over to Rhodes. I would recommend go ahead and spawn into like New Austin so you're away from the location we're heading to. And then fast travel over to Rhodes. Now it might cost you about $10 or whatever for that first try, but you're going to definitely make your money back really quick. So I'm going to pull up on the map and show where you need to head to once you're in Rhodes. Now this area is just southwest of Rhodes. It's right down here by a fishing shack, not too far away. Now once you get down here, you'll see this little fishing shack right here. Now you'll notice right off that a lot of the water is shallow. Now what you need to do is clear the area. Like right there, there's a baby gator there. Over here on the right, there's going to be a larger size gator. Even clear out snakes as you see them as they come by. You'll see some every once in a while because they'll actually stop the fish from spawning. And I think that was the only gator right there. Sometimes they'll pop up in the water. Now, right now you'll say, what? There's only one fish. Well, just give it a second. You'll see this fish spawn and it doesn't always do it in this location. You'll see one, you might see all of them at one time, but as you go and as you start to get the first one, you need to pull out your fishing rod and to kind of just make the uh, fish spawn. Now I'll go ahead and just go ahead and grab this guy right here and you'll see right in a second how those start just popping up all over the place. Let's go ahead and grab him. Largemouth bass is $2. And as you can see right there behind me, they're all over the place. I mean, they're jumping up out of the water. Uh, so you just kind of just run around the water a little bit here. You know, and you use a fishing rod every once in a while if you kind of lose where they're at. Now here you can get largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, um, what is it, bluegill, pickerel, um, I think it's a catfish, a small catfish. Now we're going to be able to get bigger fish too and I'll show you those a little bit later in the video. With this, you got to realize these fish are going to add up really quick, especially the smallmouth and largemouth bass, they're $2 a piece. Now there's tons of dollar fish here, so don't overlook those. I know some locations it's not worth doing, but here we're just scaring them up on the shore. So basically, I mean, there's no reason not to pick it up because, I mean, 10 fish of 10 regular ones are $10. It adds up really fast. You've already made your money back from the trip over from New Austin, if that's where you came in from. And like I said, every once in a while, just keep uh, pulling out your fishing rod if they stop. Well, they're not really not going to stop spawning too much, but if you want to see where they're at. Now here you'll actually see where I'm not even bothering scaring them by running in the water. You can actually shoot your gun. I'd recommend using a shotgun, bolt action, something that's loud, something that gives a lot of, um, I guess, ripples to the water. That's what I found out that really scares the fish a lot. Now when you're picking up these fish, just make sure you don't overlook some of them. Kind of walk a little slow because some of them will look like leaves and stuff like that. Of course the smallmouth bass, largemouth bass won't, but it's the bluegills and stuff. They'll actually look like leaves like these ones right here in front of me. And you can easily overlook them. And as you can see, as I'm picking these up, there's more popping up behind me. And I mean, honestly, the, the gun method, I mean, I, I've had people kind of rip on me in the past, but hey, it's all about money. <laughs> and like you see right here, I think these are, yeah, these are the bullhead catfish. I'm pretty sure these are a dollar a piece and they add up really, really fast. Now, I, I purposely came over here where it's getting ready to get dark. Well, there's it wasn't raining on top of it, but at night, the fish show up even more, especially the largemouth bass. You can get those extremely quick. Um, they're usually actually will spawn in groups. So let me go ahead and pick up these guys here. As you can see right there, I mean, they could look like leaves. They could look like, you know, just junk on the ground if you don't pay attention. And if you run over them too in the mud, they're going to actually, you know, sink into the mud so as you can see right here it's dark now and there's a i think those are small mouth bass that are right there or maybe large mouth bass i can't tell for far away until we get up on them but right there you can see i mean they're going to show up more than this too this is just some of the first ones in this area where i'm shooting at what's good about this too is you can actually grab them while they're in the water i know sometimes when you shoot fish or scare fish or anything with birds if once they get in the water you can't pick them up luckily the water's shallow right here Go ahead and grab him and oh there was another one over here and as you see to my left well you might not be able to see but as i was walking over there there's more of them just popping up right there let's grab this guy now we're going to see a large fish here it's a lake sturgeon they just randomly spawn in there's no rhyme or reason to it but they will spawn in with these you could just scare up onto the shore too just kind of walk over to the side of him and just kind of give him just give him a little slight nuzzle a little love nuzzle push him up on the hill 
Uh, well, not really a hill, but onto the shore. You know what I'm saying, though. And just pick him up, and there you go. $7.25 with that one fish by itself. So if you get your largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, those are $20 a piece. And with this, it's $7.25. Now, if you come over here, I've noticed that these actually will um, spawn over here more. I think these are gar. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we'll find out when I get ready to pick them up. Um, but th these are really skittish of guns. So right here, you can see I'm just going to shoot. I think I'm using the bolt action right now. Now, this location is great if you have friends um, or you're brave enough to use a wagon. But if you do have friends, you can have people watching your back. You can use a wagon. You can eat these fish really quick. I think these are about $5 a piece. And um, honestly, yeah, yeah, they're gars. Uh, but they're, I think they're at least $5 a piece. I think they're the same price as the channel catfish. But if you look right there, that's $20 a piece. If you had a friend with you, you guys could split it right down the middle. But at night, as you can see right here, I just wanted to show you guys just how much the smallmouth bass and the largemouth bass pop up. And what's great about this is once you've got your 10 of each that you can carry, by scaring them up on the shore, you're going to actually be able to damage the carcasses of these fish. Now walk over and kick them, walk over and stab them. Um, you can shoot them with a gun and stuff. Don't use the varmint rifle because it won't actually, you know, drop their quality enough. But, I mean, basically, I mean, you, you can pick up your other uh, 10 fish here of each kind too. I mean, like I said right there, like I did, don't try to walk over the fish because you'll actually sink them into the ground. So anyway, I just want to share this location with you guys. I've made a ton of money off this. Usually each trip is between $50 to $60 minimum. Um, honestly, I'm probably getting more than that. So let's go ahead and head back over to the butcher. As you see, I grabbed a snake. They're not worth much, but there's something. Uh, $5.25 there for the bullhead catfish. $20 for largemouth bass. $0.75 cent big game meat there. $7.50 bluegill. $10 smallmouth bass. I didn't get 10 there. I didn't stay long enough. 45 cent, you know, just for feathers from a bird. Uh, raccoon pelt. I just grabbed it because he was running around. Let's see, uh, 75 cent for the meat from it. Pickerel, $1. Only picked up one. 80 cents. Gator teeth. And a lake sturgeon for $7.25. So I just want to drop this video real quick. I hope it helps you out. Get a lot of extra money, especially with the update came out today. Maybe you can get some jackets or something like that if you want. Uh, who knows? So anyway, if this video helped you guys out, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like it, share it with your friends. Also to subscribe, make sure you click that notification bell. So as soon as the videos get posted, you get notified right away and you can jump on them from anybody else that's just searching YouTube. You get notified before they do. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.